Atlanta's number one hip-hop station, Hot 107.9. I'm Maisha Simone. I got famous Sally in the building. How you feeling, lady? I'm feeling good. You feeling good? Yes. I like your braids. They're cute. Thank you. We appreciate you for pulling up. I know your partner in crime is missing. She's sick. Oh. <laughs> well, we're going to send prayers up her way. I want to talk a little bit about What's Up, G-Way. How is life after that? Because that's a big record. I mean, everybody across the internet loves it. TikTok went crazy. Like, what's life like after that? It's like, it been lit. Fun, lit. exciting. New opportunities, new mm-hmm. things, new people. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a, a lot of celebrities that were dancing to that song that made TikTok yes. to it. Which one really caught your attention where you felt like, all right, we made it after that one person danced to it? Drake. Drake? When we seen Drake, we was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <it's> <laughs> I know that's exciting. What is your first big purchase when you got your first big check? My first big purchase <laughs> was in my car. I bought me a Range Rover truck. Ooh, don't play with her. What color? White. White. White yes. Range Rover. Well, congratulations on that because there's a lot Thank of people you. that, you know, don't make it to certain points in life and you hit a milestone like out of nowhere, you know? Well, how did you get started with music? Okay, growing up, I used to be playing around at the studio, like being in the studio, just playing, making music, but mm-hmm. I never just was like, oh, I want to grow up and be a rapper. Yeah. Like, but this go around, it was so much so, it was like playing. Like, I went to the studio, like, <laughs> my birthday was coming up. Like, I was telling my friends, like, I'm going to go to the studio, we're going to make a song, mm-hmm. and we're just going to perform at the club. Like, we just want to feel just like some celebrities. It. Like, yeah. yeah, like, just feel like <laughs> just playing around. Like, just playing. <laughs> and I did that. Like, I had booked the section, and I called my best friend, YB. That's mm-hmm. my best friend. I mm-hmm. called YB. We went to the studio, and I was scared, and I was like, come in. <laughs> and she had got on there. And she was just, she just started talking. And it was like, I liked it. And then it just went from there. Wow. <laughs> that is so crazy. That is so, so crazy. So YB is your best friend. Yes. And did she do music before or no? Like, playing, like, <laughs> just like me. Like, she probably be at the studio, like, with uh, She'll just be in there. Yeah, and mm-hmm. then she'll just get on the song. Like, we just will be playing. But we never be like, oh, I want to be a rapper. Oh, we need to mm-hmm. do this. Like, mm-hmm. no, it was never like that. So when it happened, did you get to a point where you're like, man, now we really in this. So now you got to, like, really look at people like the City Girls and other people. Like, did it make you feel like, oh, my God, we're artists now? Or do okay. you still feel like you're just having fun? Now, <laughs> honestly, it feel like, okay, I feel like I be feeling it because when I be out, like, everybody be, like, pointing stuff. But they don't be really be want to say that. And then I be forgetting because it's so new to me. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not used to this. Like, so mm-hmm. I be like, where they licking it? Mm-hmm. Then my mom be like, you forgot. I be like, yeah, I be forgetting. Like, I be forgetting. But, yeah, like, after we made G-Way, like, after we made G-Way, it had blew up, like, the same day it just started wow. going big. Like, the first day we made it, the whole Atlanta, like, listening to it, making the videos, tagging us, like, everybody in our whole city. Mm-hmm. So after that, we was like, she, we might as well go back to the studio, like, <laughs> let y'all something else for them. And then, then that's what we did. But it was like G-Way took off, like, it did. instantly. Like, the first week we dropped it, like, we had 10K views on YouTube, like, the first Three days we was at 10K views. 10K, like, out of, yeah, that's out of good. nowhere, like mm-hmm. never, never promoted this song. That we just used to listen to it on our live, yeah, <laughs> in our Instagram and stuff. And they just used to be like, drop the song, drop the song. And then when we dropped it, it was just like, boom, mind like, blowing. Yeah, life like, just changed instantly. Instantly, you went straight to the dealership. No, it was, no, no, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> uh-uh, not that it took some time. No, it was like after that. Okay, after our first week, mm-hmm. we was like. We had ended up going back to the studio, like, mm-hmm. the week after that. Then that same week, that's when we had got, like, we got to get a manager. We had, we was at a funeral, and we had seen T-Drop. Oh, me, okay. T-Drop, and YB, I grew up together. T-Drop is our manager. Oh, I don't never okay. call her by her real name, y'all. Mm-hmm. But we was all at a funeral, and T-Drop managed someone already. Um, She managed Diesel. Okay. And we was like, we're going to make you our manager. She was <laughs> like, okay. Like, just always just laughing. But the next day she called us, like, Okay, I got y'all this video set up. Y'all about to do these, y'all. It's time so to get to it's work. It's time to get to work. So we like, <laughs> okay. It's so really we still happening. playing. Like, but then it was like within that same week mm-hmm. of us like linking up with Tidrop, 
labels was already reaching out. Yeah, like, and, I think, and I think one of your biggest shows, if I'm not mistaken, was um, I was there, I think, Spellhouse, where yeah. y'all performed and you came out. And that that's a tough crowd. Right. So how did that feel being in that room? I froze up. Like, you, yeah. I stopped. <laughs> like, I go look at that video. I stopped. I froze up because they were so lit. Like, I'm yeah. like, <laughs> wait a minute. Like, all yeah. this for me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and then it's one of those things where I, and I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how to rap. I'm not putting out music, but I was always told if you just kind of like not focus on a face or a person and you just kind of like center your eyes somewhere then maybe that big crowd won't be it won't you will, you'll just feel like it's you against the world i'm just looking the sky yeah i just look in the sky i then i just like once i start after they just because the crowd gonna sing your song like yeah. then it's gonna feel like they chew at a concert mm -hmm. so i just exactly vibe about like i just start vibing you'd be like okay they do it <laughs> well now that you're in the game congratulations again Thank uh you. who are you looking up to like what's your next steps my next steps. Mm -hmm. Um, what you mean by my next steps? Like your next steps in your career. Like I know we're getting ready to talk about. You know, you're dropping an EP. You have a single. But like, what are some goals that you're setting for yourself as an artist? Like, I have to do this. I have to do this. I have to get this feature. I have to do this. Like, what what kind of goals are you setting for yourself? Like right now, I really don't really have no goals. I'm really just still learning everything. Like okay. just still getting taking it all like, in. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> taking it step by step. Like <laughs> I ain't really like just thought about it yet. I feel like the opportunity gonna come to me. Like when it and you're letting it just flow. Right, I just let it flow. God take you where it go. Everybody doing their thing right now. Like mm -hmm. everybody doing their thing right now. So. Really, anybody. Yeah. I'll take a feature for anybody. Yeah. Um, and I love, honestly, I love the unity that y'all have, the unity mm -hmm. that the women have. The, women are really killing it right now. Yes. And, you know, we do have our other stuff that's going on. You know, like, when we talk about the beefs and the female, like, I want to know your take on it. Because as a female artist, when you see that stuff online, you're coming into the game. There are people who are actually beefing who are legends and stuff like that. Like, how do you look at that situation? I be feeling like, it's no beef. Like, it's it's really no competition. It's enough money out here for everybody. I okay. feel like everybody should get together, like, get together. I yeah, love, like, mm -hmm. woman empowerment. Like, You're a girl's girl. Yes, like, I'm a girl's girl. I love to have fun. <laughs> like, I be off in the hang with any, everybody, like, mm -hmm. I ain't even whoever, anybody, like whoever, like. So look, y'all. Here's Sally. She <laughs> says she's willing to work with anybody. She yeah. don't care. She just wants to. She's taking it step by step. So, but we gotta get. We gotta talk to uh, Teardrop and get some features locked in because <laughs> I think that would be the next step to see some collabs and you know who would be your uh, your dream collaboration, like somebody that now that you're in it, who would you really really feel like I have to work with this person? A female or it could be either. I love y'all Miami and JT. <laughs> I love them. That would be a that would be like, crazy. Two them, female groups together. Yeah, like the City Girls. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say um, Cardi. Okay. Nikki. Okay. Um, who else? Meg. I like all them. Yeah. I like all. That's the good. I love it. I love. <laughs> I love it. all that music. Like I love all them. <laughs> now this EP, the truth. Let's talk about that. Did I say it's the truth? The, the truth. The truth. Nothing yeah, but the truth. Nothing but the truth. <laughs> so talk about that. Why did you decide to name? Uh, why did you decide to name it this? And then just give us a little bit more information about the project. We named the um, EP the truth because it's like basically like just telling our like what we've been through, like how it came about. Like it just basically tell like about us. Like mm -hmm. it's, the EP is like about us. Like where we come from. Like mm -hmm. introducing people to get to know us. Like yeah, that's why it's called the truth. And like one of the songs on there is called the truth and y'all gonna hear it it just tell like what we used to do before we start rapping wow i like that. that how we grew up and stuff like being that. transparent like, yeah like opening up to your fan base like, basically. okay they do i do think that it's very important for fans to open up and get to know who the artist is exactly. we do see all the glitz and glam we see the range rovers we see the money but where who she are you come from right who is these girls Ex okay i know this song but where they come from exactly so i'm, I'm glad that, like that. that. Mm -hmm. i'm glad that this is exactly this is the best way, I think, to go about it. Yeah. And then you're dropping a single and a video the same, all at the same time. Yes. So why did you decide to do it all together? I really don't know. <laughs> it's I just, really don't know. It's just happening. Yeah, it just happened like this. It's just making sense. Uh -huh. What what kind of, um, so being that you're opening up to your fan base, what kind of reaction do you think everybody will get Like once they uh, hear the project, hear the song, see the videos? What kind of reactions are you expecting? I hope they like it. Like, we put a lot of work into this EP. <laughs> so I hope they like it. I know they're going to like it, though. Like, 
because they keep on like, when we be going live and we be on our Instagram making mm-hmm. videos, they be like, can you send me a song, please? Like the song that we finna <laughs> drop Friday, y'all, they is about to beat me up in my DM for this song. Really? Like, you previewed yes. it on TikTok or Instagram or something? I or just no? be making videos too all the time. And uh, go to the club. We'll let the club play. And they'll start DMing me like, I was at the club, Kim. Like, where's this song? I can't find this song. And oh, that wow. Is, so That's how you know it's another hit. Yes, <laughs> That's like, how you know. So bad. That's why we dropping on the same day as the EP. <laughs> <laughs> so they don't have no more questions. Give them more the same mm-hmm. day. Go on here to get to y'all. Well, tell everybody where they can find this project, the music, the video. If they want to stream anything, if they want to get to know you more, just go ahead and plug yourself. Y'all can find the video. The video is going to be dropping on YouTube this Friday, February the 2nd. Um, our EP going to be on all platforms, Apple Music, YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, everywhere. It's going to be on every platform. It's called The Truth, Famous Sally, NYB. Y'all can follow us on Instagram. My Instagram is Famous Sally. Mm-hmm. What's my Instagram? Famous Sally 2. Because <laughs> I got two Instagrams, y'all. My Instagram is Famous Sally 2. No underscores. No underscore. Okay. YB is YB underscore the brand. And y'all can follow our fan page at FamousSally.YB. Well, we appreciate you so much and for stopping. And make sure y'all oh, go look. subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure. Because that's where the video is going to be, yeah, right? Okay. I'll, videos and y'all gonna get to see a lot about this y'all go well i'm excited i can't (laughs) wait for the drop thank you so much for stopping by just continue to keep going up this is just the beginning and i can't wait to see where your journey takes you thank you you're welcome it's famous sally my asia simone on hot 1079